Hello, uh, Bucky here again. Um, so I thought I'd make a video on how I do um, flight planning for uh, uh, FS economy flights. And uh, yeah, I suppose for anything, but I use it when I do my flight uh, FS economy flights. So what you're looking at now is a flight plan that I made for a flight uh, between uh, Alexandra and uh, Queenstown in New Zealand. And as you can see it's uh, quite quite a detailed flight plan. And uh, the reason I do this instead of just uh, doing point-to-point uh, -point, uh, uh, navigation is because I find it a little bit more fun to fly the, in the canyons like this in New Zealand. So, and uh, to not lose my way it's really helpful to, to to make a flight plan so you can always uh, have a glance at the GPS that you're uh, in the somewhat right direction. And uh, I can just show you how, how I do this. If we go to the start, I just punch in the departure and the destination and uh, gives me this pink line and uh, then I just grab it and I just take it where I want my first uh, waypoint to be. And uh, then this uh, little window pops up and I choose the GPS coordinates at the bottom plan. And that makes a waypoint out of it. And then I just do this for the entire um, do this for the entire flight. And I just put these waypoints down. And it's a very you know, it doesn't take um, long time at all. You can do this in just uh, a few minutes. And I think it's it makes it a lot more um, fun to, to fly when you've planned a flight like this yourself and you execute it afterwards. So the only thing to keep in mind when doing this is that <coughs> to make uh, the waypoint um, activate you have to fly pretty close by to it. So if you would, uh, for instance, make a waypoint, put it down here, and then you um, you end up going here, and then from this point you fly close to the ridge here. You might not uh, activate this waypoint down here. So it's it's a little bit important to place the waypoints where you believe that you will actually fly. So in this case, I I believe that when I round this corner, I will keep to the keep to the right so I place my waypoint over here or something like that so I know that I will trigger it and if I trigger it then it will switch to the next uh, waypoint automatically in the GPS in uh, X-Plane so it all runs very smoothly but anyway now I have this um, uh, simple flight plan in uh, Sky Vector and then I click Navlog brings me to this page and uh, right here I just marked uh, all the text in the waypoint column and just right click and copy and uh, then I go to this uh, web page called xplaintools.com FLT aware parser and uh, scroll down and paste this in the waypoint section here so looks like this, looks a bit weird but this is how it's supposed to be it works and then I just uh, type in the file name usually I type uh, you know the the departure and destination like this but uh, I've already made this so I just named this test for the sake of making this video and then I select Skyvector because that's my source and explain FMS which is the file that the, the GPS reads in Xplane. Click Convert. And now I find here at the top of the page test.fms. And I right click this, save link as is what this means. <laughs> and uh, you can see here I've already made a couple of flight plans uh, like this. So it's Xplane output FMS plans. And I just save it here. Like that. Right. 
let's see. Got the track IR. Um, working. Right, so if we now go down to the GPS, you can see that I have something loaded here already. But what you do is you click uh, on flight plan, then you just turn this wheel. And then you come to this page where all your FMS files are. You can see this these matches the folder I had on my uh, in Windows. And uh, now you want to click this push cursor button to 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 highlight this, but it doesn't work in the AS350. So I've actually um, I've uh, got a key for this now. And I think uh, you can, uh, if you look in the settings menu, you can actually check uh, keyboard. Um, uh, yeah, so you can see here G430 pilot push cursor, and I've by uh, I've um, uh, binded this to uh, the key one. This is the paragraph key next to the number one on your keyboard. So if I push this now it will highlight this one and then I can scroll in between them. And uh, if I um, select this now by clicking enter it's loaded. And uh, another thing to be mindful of is that if you um, take off you are at the right airport but for some reason you, perhaps you've selected a location that is uh, slightly um, off to the side perhaps you've selected a helipad uh, that is slightly off to the side from the actual airport uh, it will look like this that the the first waypoint which is the airfield itself or airport it's uh, in the right side here instead of in the left side pointing to the, towards the first waypoint that means that you haven't yet triggered the airport waypoint so uh, you have this means that you basically have to uh, to fly over the airport or where you th think that the the waypoint the the basic startup waypoint will be located so it will trigger the airport and then the the, the rest of the waypoints will uh, become active or rather the next waypoint will become active and then this NZ LX will come in this left side and um, yeah the the next waypoint will come to the right and that's uh, pretty much it this is a really simple way to to, to use um, to make a flight plan and uh, fly after it, it just takes a couple of minutes. So, yeah, hopefully, this will uh, help you fly if you didn't know this trick already. Right, bye.